Greetings, friends. And in this video we will look at the tools from the fashion industry van, which will definitely be useful to you. And we are starting. To begin with, I want to note that there is such a parameter as quality in the tools from the Van Indus. It is responsible for the energy intensity of your instrument, the area of its operation, damage and other characteristics. What are the quality levels in general? Initially, when creating, you are given a terrible level, then a common, an anchorman, rare, epic, legendary and artifact level. To improve the quality of your instrument, you must charge it with RF energy. Pay attention to the parameter energy 0 4 million. As soon as you gain 4 million charge energy in your instrument, it automatically moves to the next level of quality. Initially, your tool runs on RF energy, but it can use not only it, but also biofuels. Pay attention to the parameter liquid 0 out of 1 million. If you want to fill your instrument with biofuel, go into any filler, put your instrument there and it will automatically fill up as if it were a bucket. And now you will be using biofuels during the operation, instead of spending valuable energy needed to improve the quality of your instrument. We will start the review with an infinite drill. I will use an artifact quality drill to demonstrate to you the largest area of action and, accordingly, the maximum efficiency. The drill we will craft in the dissolution chamber. In addition to the ingredients, you will also need pink slime. Actually, the drill will allow you to dig up those blocks that a pickaxe and a shovel can get. Also, when mining, blocks will be automatically placed in your inventory. A filled drill has two indicators. The purple stripe shows how much it is filled with biofuels, and if you hold the shift when you hold it in your hands, it will change to blue. The blue stripe shows how full your red stone flag instrument is. Holding the drill in your hands, press the shift and right mouse button, and you will go to the settings menu of your drill. Here you will see two scales. The first one is responsible for the level of energy that is currently in your storm and the amount of biofuel, how much it is filled with it. There are only two parameters of the headgear, this is its working area and the charging parameter. If the check mark is enabled, then your instrument will be charged in devices that allow it. If not, it will not be, respectively. At the moment I am using the legendary quality of my instrument. It can be obtained in an honest way in the game and the maximum digging distance is 11 by 11 by 1 depth. Unfortunately, you will not be able to get the quality level of the artifact in any way except using creative. Because the author wanted this quality to be received only by those who supported him at the Patreon. A tool with an artifact quality level has a maximum working distance of 13 by 13 by 13 and there is a special bright button activating which you will leave behind an unusual magical trace if the tool is in your inventory. The Endless Board can also be enchanted on the anvil. He is affected by enchantments for both weapons and tools. The next tool that we will consider is an infinite saw. It is also done in the dissolution chamber. By holding down the shift plus the right mouse button, you will have the same interface as the drill. This is accordingly an opportunity to enable or disable charging and adjust the coverage area. An endless saw cuts down trees in a large area entirely, putting resources directly into your inventory. The saw can also be enchanted with charms for both weapons and tools. The next interesting tool is the infinite trident. And actually here is his recipe. You will get at your disposal such a mechanical trident that you can throw and, accordingly, it will need to be picked up afterwards so that it does not disappear. By holding the shiv plus right mouse button, you will find a little more settings. There is also a zone setting and several additional enchantments, such as Loyalty, Agen, and Thunderer. If you choose Loyalty, then your trident will return to you after a throw after some time. Enchantment Tyagun will allow you to move after your thrown trident, making a dash in space. Disappointment Thunderer will allow you to strike with lightning the one who got your trident when throwing, while you can do it in any weather. Please note that the parameters Fidelity and Tyagun are mutually exclusive, so you will be able to choose only one of them. The next tool is called the Infinity Launcher and it will allow you to enclose mobs in special balls with shots from this tool for easy carrying and subsequent release. To do this, in the settings of the tool, 
you must have the cap share mode selected and you must have at least one such special ball of the mob finisher. Let's go to some mob and shoot at it. The mob was automatically enclosed in a ball. You can release it with the same ball if you click on some block with it, or switch to a special mode, it is called relay and also shoot at some block and the mob will appear. I decided to check whether the attack area affects the capture of several mobs at the same time. Unfortunately, nothing changes in the tool settings, as you captured one mob, so you will capture. You can also enable the demo mode. In this mode, your tool will shoot like a normal bow and even without damage to the area, and the damage is very small. The next useful tool is called the infinite hammer and here is its recipe. I want to note that the infinite hammer is a weapon and first of all it has a lot of damage. You can also customize the area of action, that is, he will hit the area, causing damage to all creatures in it at once. Also, the hammer has a special parameter, it is called decapitation, it can be turned on. With this parameter, you will be able to knock more heads out of mobs, if this is of course possible. And they will immediately get to your inventory. I also recommend that you enchant this hammer for sharpness and, of course, prey, in order to further increase the number and drop out hunger. By turning on the attack area 5x5x5 five by five by five and higher, you can open a special attack. By right clicking on a block with a hammer, you will summon traps that do little damage, but at a great distance, which will allow you to do damage from a distance. Next, we'll talk to you about the endless backpack. It is also made in the dissolution chamber. This backpack is needed in order to store items in it, automatically feed you and store the experience accumulated in adventures in it. The capacity of the backpack depends on its quality. The better the quality, the greater the capacity. Shifts the right mouse button and we are in the interface of our backpack. To begin with, it has three special buttons. The first button is called a magnet. With the inclusion of this button, all items will be attracted to you if your backpack is filled with biofuel. The next button is responsible for the automatic selection of experience and items. If you turn on the automatic collection of experience, the backpack will collect the accumulated experience, turning it into essence. And the same for items. The backpack can immediately grab some items or they will fall into your inventory. In addition to biofuels and essences, the backpack can store liquid meat that will make up for your hunger. You can also customize each cell specifically for a specific item, as well as choose whether the excess items will be destroyed or accumulated in overflow mode. Next, I will tell you about Infinity Nuke, here is its recipe and in fact it is a nuclear bomb. The bomb can also be improved with energy and filled with biofuels to make it more efficient. Shift plus the right mouse button and you are already in the interface of this bomb. The higher the quality, the larger the blast zone is available to you to choose from. Take the bomb in your hands and click on the block, you will install it. The second click will close it, it is almost ready to explode. Shift plus the right mouse button will remove the bomb. After you have slammed the bomb, you need to set it on fire and they will explode after some time. That's it for me, thank you.